Thank you. 
While he's doing that, I'm going to say, let's welcome Darren and Layla here tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. So good. I do want to, well, I want to say something about the band in a minute, but I just, you can't hear me? I just want to say how great you look. And I want to say welcome to the Faith and Fellowship Center, those of you who have gathered here in this place. We have hungered and longed to see your faces in this place. That's <laughs> When we together with our, uh, with our volunteers Friday afternoon to kind of walk through and make sure that we were all kind of knew what our roles would be and what we needed to be doing. And we gathered and we prayed together. And I said to our volunteers, our wonderful group of volunteers, I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to feel like Sunday morning. I don't know if I'll be so distracted, just making sure, you know, we're, we're kind of all together and everything's going well. Or I don't know if I'll be emotional. And I think maybe it's going to be a blend of the two. This is a special moment. We recognize the special uh, degree, uh, the special aspect of this time. So I want to say welcome. I want to say thanks be to God for allowing us to come here. I want to say hello to our folks who are watching at home. We're not going to forget you. Uh, we appreciate everybody who's been a part of our worship experience for uh, the past 33 weeks as we gathered virtually. So grateful to Mike Murphy and his role in providing this space for us uh, to, to navigate things technically so well, so so grateful uh, to Mike and grateful to all of you who have been with us throughout. And we're grateful for those of you who will continue to be there at home and those who will gather here. I do want to say a word about the band. We are thrilled to have the band here. This is Layla's debut. Her public debut is today. We are thrilled. We are thrilled to have Layla with us. And and delighted uh, that uh, we will have Darren here with us regularly, and so he's now a part of the band regularly. So we celebrate Darren with us as well. So uh, we are thrilled to have Darren with us. <laughs> and Charles and Lee, we are so grateful for them as well. So would you give them a round of applause, Charles and Lee? <laughs> we're grateful. Uh, Dakota has moved. He's not going to be able to be with us. And uh, we're so grateful for what Dakota has meant for us over the years and uh, Jim Yoder and, and Cameron Owens, who was so essential to being able to have the band be able to play for us virtually uh, over these past weeks. So we're grateful uh, for those folks as well. We are blessed here in so many ways. And I do want to say a word of thanks to the volunteers who have worked so diligently. And there's been a lot of thought and effort put into this moment, as I, I suspect you can imagine. Uh, I do want to say just a couple of things, and then we'll move along. But uh, thank you for for adhering to the protocols and procedures that we feel like uh, need to be in place for us to gather safely. So we thank you for that. We thank you for your cooperation. And I do want to say a word. You know, we're doing everything we know to do. We're listening to CDC guidelines, North Carolina Health and Human Services, our conference. We're doing everything we know to do to keep one another safe. And so we appreciate your work with that. We even have, uh, I want to say a special word of thanks to Jim Nix and Gary Nix who have created for us this beautiful screen. We're calling it something like the droplet projection inhibitor, DPI for short, and we're so grateful for that. And that, they did that this week, and uh, we just are thrilled with, with their good work. Um, I do want to just say this word. If, if by chance, and we certainly hope this will not be the case, but if by chance after gathering with us you have a COVID-19 positive 
result. It would be very important for you to let me know because part of this process is keeping up with who's here so that if there is a positive report, we can let everybody know and everybody can take the appropriate measures. Uh, I'd like to think that we're all being so cautious and careful, caring for one another, that even if that should happen, and one of us should, and we're around a variety of people in a variety of settings, that we would have been so careful that it wouldn't have had any opportunity to spread here among us. And so that's what we're just trying to do. So thank you for your cooperation with that. I do want to say a word about Holy Communion. It is All Saints Day, and it's a, it's a wonderful time for us to remember and to give thanks to God for those who have lived among us, those specifically who have died in the past year, but will hold in our hearts all who have passed away, who have touched our lives. We are celebrating Holy Communion, and that's very special. We're doing it quite different. We, everybody, does everybody have, does anybody missing their, uh, their little container? Uh, I would say, okay, so we, need, so we need a couple here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll be sure everybody has one. I do want to say a word of instruction. I'm not going to do this later in the service. But I want to go ahead and give you an instruction now. Pat needs one over here. Thank you, Christy. So these are a little tricky. So just be sure when you open them up, when the time comes, there's a little clear cellophane piece at the very, very top. You want to lift that first. Don't do it now because you'll be having a juggling act all, the whole service. But you will, you will pull back, peel back first the cellophane, and then that will expose the little wafer. And then you will take the whole lid off uh, for the juice. So it's a kind of a two-step process. So it, it, again, it took me two tries to get it right. So if you mess up, no shame. We'll just raise your hand and we'll get you another one. But, uh, but if you'll just do it that way, I think it will work fine. Uh, please note the restroom pro protocol. We do have signs on the door. We're just asking one at a time. And we've got uh, an alcohol spray bottle. Just spray down the handles of everything when you leave. And and, uh, and use the hand sanitizer, which is provided on the wall there. Uh, and again, we're not monitoring that. We'll just all monitor ourselves. We'll try to just have one person at a time in there. I do want to say uh, thank you to uh, uh, thank you for signing up. That does help the process go much more quickly out here, so thank you for that. And uh, as we gather for All Saints Day today, I want to thank uh, the families uh, who are joining us here uh, in this space and those who are worshiping with us at home. We hope this will be a meaningful day. Uh, for all of you. I do want to remind you that Christine will be offering the prayer, and for those of you who are watching at home, you can continue with our Facebook live feed in the messages. You can let us know if there's a prayer request, and Christine will be glad to name those uh, when the time comes, if she gets those in time. We will allow you to bring uh, prayers to the cross. As the email that went out yesterday reminds you, we won't be providing paper and pen. You just bring that, and at a particular time in the service, you'll have that opportunity. With all that being said, I want to offer a word of prayer, and then we will turn it to the band to sing. We're not doing congregational singing. We can listen and enjoy Lee as he leads us in just a moment. Could we pray? God, we are grateful for this moment. We've uh, longed for this. And we've done everything we know to do to keep one another safe, and we'll continue to do that. And we just pray that you would help us to be faithful in that regard as we care for one another carefully. We thank you that we can gather now in this space and that we can worship you together here and at home, wherever we may be participating in this time of worship. And we just ask, oh God, that on this All Saints Day, when we gather at the table in our unusual ways, that you would be present among us and that you would gather us close together, even though we are distant physically, in our hearts we will be one in Christ. We give you thanks for this moment. In your holy name we pray, amen. You know, I don't know. I just think it would be appropriate as we begin our first hymn with the band to lead in with a roaring bit of applause. Let us applaud. We are here to worship. There you go.
marching in Oh, when the saints go marching in We will have our spoken prayer time, and before we start, we do have the cross. If you have brought some prayers to put up on the cross this morning, and then the staff will pray over them during our virtual staff meeting, because we are still meeting virtually on Tuesday. So we are going to have the band do some background music for us. Let us pray. Beloved God, on this All Saints Sunday, we come before you to ask that you hold us, comfort us when we mourn the passing of friends and family, and help us to know that they are rejoicing in your presence. We, pray, we praise you for the grace you shower on us, constantly forgiving our errors, especially the ones that we don't share with any but you. Hear now the silent fears and worries of our hearts. We offer up to you, gracious God, the names of loved ones who struggle with illness, loneliness, sorrow. Lord, we offer their names and needs to you in confidence of your healing love. And in addition to the prayers offered upon the cross and in our hearts, this morning we also lift up Margie. Carl, Paul, Artis, Verlin, Amy and family, Jana, Peter, Marilyn, Maxie, Greg, Susan, and the Barmore family. Lord, in your love and mercy, you have heard all of these prayers, those spoken and those unsaid. Be with us and strengthen us and those whom we love. Touch all hearts with your mercy, and we ask all this in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Christine. As we celebrate our joys uh, this morning, we want to um, lift up a couple of things. Uh, we, we thought about how to do joys, and uh, just in this current setting, it's a little more challenging, obviously. We if things were normal, we'd be walking around with the microphones and, and having you speak. We're going to avoid that right now. Uh, we'll give you a chance in just a few moments to offer a silent joy, just raising your hand, so just be prepared for that. I do want to remind you that we are beginning Toys for Tots. You see the box out there. You can bring toys and put them into the box uh, during the month of November. If you have any questions about that, please see Christy Lewis, who is, uh, among many other things, the chair of our ministries team. Uh, also, I would uh, remind you that Charge Conference, which is our annual connectional meeting, uh, is coming up on November the 15th at 5 o'clock. It will be completely virtual this year. The members of the church council are the voting members of Charge Conference, but anybody in the church family is certainly welcome to be a part of that. 
Since it's virtual this year, we would just need a little prep time. You just need to send me an email is really all you need to do. And I'll be glad to send you that Zoom invitation when the time comes. We want to say happy anniversary and happy birthday to uh, folks who are celebrating. You see the happy anniversary name. We have several November birthdays here early on. So very happy uh, birthday and anniversary to all of our folks who are celebrating in the coming week. I want to give you an opportunity now in this moment. Uh, you know, we are joyful for a lot of reasons. We're joyful for being here. Uh, but I know there's probably things in your own heart that you would give voice to if it were a normal Sunday. But, but I'm just hoping that maybe lifting up your hand in joyful thanksgiving would be a way of speaking from your heart today. So if there's something you're joyful about, I'm not going to call on you. Uh, so you're completely safe. But if you have something that is a joy in your heart that you just want to express Quietly, would you just raise your hand? Let's just hold that for a second. Thanks be to God. Amen. We'll look to the band once again as they lead us prayerfully in blessed assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, virgins of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture all on my side. Angels descend. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect of me. All is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my After this, I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. He said to me, these are they who have come out of the great ordeal. 
They've washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat for the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We just finished studying the book of Revelation in our Disciple 4 Bible study. Revelation's a wonderful book. It can be a scary book, and there's all kinds of strange and weird images, and there are all kinds of interpretive approaches to the book of Revelation. But if you take your time and really kind of look through the book, all 22 chapters, you might be amazed to see all the worshipful images. Throughout the book of Revelation, there are these images of worshiping God. And at the heart of the message of the book of Revelation, written to churches in Asia Minor in the late first century, is a word of hope to a persecuted church. A word of hope in times of turmoil. A word of encouragement to remain faithful when it would be easy to lay your faith aside. This particular reading that I shared with you in the spirit of biblical storytelling. Every three years is one of the selected readings for this day, All Saints Sunday. And I think we can understand why. This apocalyptic vision that John has in this moment of these who have come out of the great ordeal worshiping God around the throne with the angels and the four living creatures and the elders. Now in the the cosmic view of John's apocalyptic vision, these who have come out of the great ordeal are those folks who have given their life for their faith. They have remained faithful unto death. Again, at the heart of Revelation is a word to the church. Listen, even if it cost you your life, remain faithful. Now, odds are, none of us here in this room will be called upon to be faithful unto death. But it is a good word for the church of every generation, of every age, to all Christians to hang on to the faith, even when it's hard. Maybe your faith has been tested these past 12 years. Oh, no, it's just eight months. I'm sorry. It just seems like 12 years. Maybe your faith has been tested in a summer of racial injustice and unrest in the streets. Maybe your faith has been tested when you haven't been able to be with family, friends, when you've wondered if this was ever going to end. Maybe you know something about faith being tested in other seasons of life, too. When you pray for someone to get well and they die. When you find yourself in the midst of a, of a broken relationship that can't be mended. When you feel alone and afraid. When you feel as if nobody understands you. Maybe you've had your faith tested in a variety of ways over the years. And I would suggest to you that this beautiful image around the throne of God in Revelation chapter 7 and the whole of the book offers a good word for us. Hold fast. Remain faithful. I think for us on this All Saints Day, it provides for us a good image, a beautiful image, really, if you will, of our loved ones who have gone on. Even though they weren't martyred for their faith, perhaps, the imagery of gathering around the throne and hearing this word of hope that the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them, they will hunger no more and thirst no more, the sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. They will hunger and thirst no more. No more pain, no more suffering. Today we'll remember people who've suffered. You've been with them. You've walked with them. You've prayed for them. You've cared for them. And so today, even as we acknowledge the loss, the void of their passing, we give thanks for the God who has received them and we celebrate their lives. Now today we'll remember 
particular people who have died in the past 12 months since last All Saints Sunday here at HUMC. But I'll invite you also to remember your own cloud of witnesses, your own saints who have helped to shape and nurture you. In just a moment, we'll begin this part of the service, a service of remembrance. We'll call out each name and Christine will light a candle in their memory and Les will toll the bell. And when we call out a name to someone that you love, we'll invite you to stand just in silent memory and tribute. And at the end of naming these 14 names, we'll invite you to stand for anyone who might be on your heart today. But as we enter into this sacred space of remembrance, and from there to Holy Communion, when we celebrate the mystery of Christ who is present at his table, the gathering of the church militants and the church triumphant in Christ together. Today we will remember and we will give thanks to the God who walks with us in this life and receives us in the life to come. May God grant us strength and courage and grace in this holy moment. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Les, I'll invite you. Christine, I'll invite you to come forward. I'm going to stand to the side so you can see as Christine lights the candles. And for those of you who are worshiping with us at home or wherever you may be today, we would invite you to participate as best you can standing as those names are called as you will. Let us enter into a time of sacred prayer and remembrance as I call out each of these names. Dottie Travis. Holly Tuzelan. Randy Austin. Nancy Parks. Libby Cottingham. Alan Marsh. David Warth. Wiley Sloan. Betty Kaiser. Patty Marsh. Henry Wood. Patty Callahan. Leo Huckabee. Dorothy Egler. And now I wonder if there are those you hold in your heart today, whenever they may have died, that you would like to stand in a moment of silent tribute. Would you join me in a moment of prayer? Almighty God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for lives well lived. We give you thanks for the hope of life eternal. 
Blessed are the saints who die in the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. I invite you to look with me on the screen for our liturgy for Holy Communion. If you'll go ahead and have your Holy Communion elements ready. Don't open them yet. If you will respond in the bold print. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's take a moment for silent confession of our private sins. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, God of Abraham and Sarah, God of Miriam and Moses, God of Joshua and Deborah, God of Ruth and David, God of the priests and the prophets. God of Mary and Joseph, God of the apostles and the martyrs, God of our mothers and our fathers, God of our children to all generations. And so with the people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and those who gather virtually and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. Renew our communion with all your saints, especially those whom we name before you. Dottie, Polly, Randy, Nancy, Libby, Alan, Patty, David, Wiley, Betty, Henry, Patty, Leo, Dorothy, and all others that we now name quietly in our hearts. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, strengthen us to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Now, if you would take off the outer layer of cellophane. If anyone needs another one, please let us know. Christy's available to help. If you will now take the wafer 
and put it in your mouth. The body of Christ given for you. Now you can peel the remainder. The blood of Christ shed for you. As you continue navigating your cups, and you're doing a great job, so thank you for that, but I know it takes a little practice, I'm going to offer a prayer for us, but you continue if you haven't finished yet, you continue, but I'm going to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. Almighty God, we thank you for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Enable us to give ourselves back to you by giving ourselves fully and freely to one another. In your holy name we do pray, amen. And now the band will lead us when we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. word about uh, the way we will close our service uh, today. In just a moment, we will hear I'll Fly Away from the band. At that time, I will offer a benediction. And then uh, Christy and Ed, who are serving as sort of our seating ushers today, uh, they will guide you when to leave. We won't all get up and leave at one time. So we'll, we'll dismiss by sections uh, after uh, I pronounce the benediction. So if you'll just look for Christy and Ed to guide you on that. A couple of things I would remind you. We do have uh, offering bowls set up, uh, one there underneath the mirror, one on the, uh, right beside the, uh, the kiosk uh, that we have available for giving. Online giving certainly is an option. Uh, we also have a, a bowl out front just as you walk out. If you want to give an offering today, we know that can be a very valuable part of worship. We just want you to know we're not taking up formal offerings, not passing plates but we will have stationary places. So we just wanted to name that so you would be aware of that. We do have a trash can set at the, uh, as you are exiting for your container, so uh, you can just dep uh, uh, deposit those or dispose of those then. I want to say a word of thanks uh, to you for being here today. For those of you who are at home uh, worshiping with us, uh, it has been a blessing to gather back in this space. And you are a blessing by 
being here and those of you at home as well. Now, yes. Yes, yes, we did celebrate that she did a great job, yes. We did celebrate that, yes. Thank you, Mike. And now, it's so nice to be able to say this. Let's fly away. you receive now this benediction, go forth in peace, and may the love of God, the grace of Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace.